Hello everyone, I'm Hank and welcome to Comments VR. It's been another month from last update. First of all, thank you for your interest in this project. I started this channel for a portfolio purpose, but now almost 100 random people subscribe my channel. Once again, I appreciate your interest and I will keep uploading the video regularly. Back to the project, it took me another month to unload the video since I had to completely change the design for better performance. Most of the hardware is changed now and it has a better accuracy, quality, and even has a better visual. I'll explain what has changed and I'll show you the demo at the end of the video. I originally used Arduino Mega for this project because it has multiple analog pins. However, I realized that it is too bulky to mount on the hand and it is overkill for this project. I found out that there is another microcontroller called Teensy Board. It has almost 5 times higher clock frequency, more analog pins, and it has a way smaller size than Arduino Mega. So I decided to use Teensy 3.2 board for this project. I used to make flex sensor with aluminum foil and velostat. Handmade sensors have quite satisfactory accuracy and less deviation between sensors, but it has a poor durability. It broke after a week. So I decided to purchase the sensor from Adafruit. I purchased 20 sensors, two for each finger. The position of the sensor has changed as well. Originally, it was attached at the palm for the motor to be implemented. However, it impedes my hand movement. I decided to put them on the back of the hands. I fixed the flex sensor with 3D printed parts. Only the tip of the sensors are fixed so that they can slide when they are bent. After the sensor is located at the back of the hand, I cannot feel any impediment from sensors and gloves. I had to print out new 3D parts for a new design of the glove. I designed plate bed, support, fingertip, and flex sensors holders. When I was using handmade flex sensors, values are changing non-linearly when the fingers are bent. However, flex sensors from Adafruit are changing linearly so I decided to use least square linear regression to optimize the value. I set rough approximation for initial tangent and y-intercept for all 9 flex sensors. Once Unity runs, I designed to save 4 different positions of the fingers for the regressions. After all inputs are fed in, function generates new tangent and y-intercept for every sensor. This will adjust the deviation between sensors and it can be re-optimized when other users are using the glove. So right now it is running with a rough approximation with the tangent and intercept and to optimize it, so let's input the four different angles. First one, second, third, four, and for this this joint as well. So one, two, three, four. And then if I press hit this optimization function, and now it is pretty accurate. And it is pretty there's no like a weird value here. And as you can see, it is extremely accurate and there is no latency. Yeah, I synchronized the, the game frequency and the TNC board frequency. It took me a few hours, but because of that, you can feel any latency at here. It is so realistic. I used MPU 6050 to track 6 degree of freedom, but I recently purchased the two vibe trackers for better accuracy. In the next video, I'll put them on the hand and I'll track the movement with the VR headset. I'm currently working on two tasks. First is mounting the motors for force feedback. They are all tested and ready to be implemented. The other task is designing the workspace in Unity. 
I need to make the interaction mechanism for this haptic glove, such as grabbing, touching, or throwing the objects in the virtual space. I think this will be the hardest task. I'll post another video once these two tasks are done. Thank you for watching, and I will come back with a great idea.